What's up everyone, it's Deja and in this video I'll be teaching you how to fix an error on your Android device which says Google Play services has stopped working. Well, what is this error? When you get this error, you get an error message on your screen for every 20 seconds or 30 seconds which says unfortunately Google Play services has stopped. And also you'll not be able to use any Google related apps such as Google Chrome or Play Store. So, uh, in some cases, you will also not be able to access the images or videos which are present on your internal storage. In my case, however, I am able to access the images on our videos on my internal storage, but in some cases, you will not be able to access them too. So let's get ahead and see how to fix this problem. The first thing you gotta do is to connect your Android device to your PC using a micro SD card. Um, so here we go. Uh, this is my Android device and here is the internal storage now when you open the internal storage disk you will find various folders under it various folder inside it and now what you got to do is you got to clear up some space in your internal storage because when your internal storage is full this may lead into this this error which says Google Play services has stopped so in order to fix that you got to clear up some space on your internal internal storage so uh, in most cases uh, the WhatsApp data, including your WhatsApp pictures and WhatsApp videos, occupy more space on your internal storage as per me. So if you think the same, you can just go and browse the WhatsApp folder over here and you can go to the media folder and you, you will find all the subfolders under it which says WhatsApp audio, WhatsApp document, WhatsApp images, WhatsApp videos and etc. So you can just make a backup of this WhatsApp data not a backup actually you can just cut all this data and you can move this data into your PC and clear up some space on your internal storage so you can just do that by uh, right clicking and select cut and go to the destination where you want to save this on your hard disk and you can paste them so uh, not only whatsapp you, you know any app which occupy any unwanted app which occupy more more space on your internal storage you gotta clear that app so you just gotta clear all the unwanted apps on your internal storage and all the unwanted video files or image files on your internal storage that is the first step to fix this error and now you gotta move on to your android device and go to settings and uh, select apps now swipe to your left and go to the all tab now locate google play services from this list so here we go tap on google play services and over here um, tap on manage space and uh, um, tap on clear all data and tap on ok finally and that's going to clear the data now uh, tap on clear catch button uh, present over here and you might have to do it twice or even thrice until the catchy catch can be cleared to the maximum and now you got to tap on the disable button and tap on ok and once again tap on ok and that's going to uninstall Google Play services on your Android device. Um, here we go, the uninstall is finished successfully. Now once the uninstall is finished, you got to enable it once again. I mean you have to uninstall it again. So tap on the enable button and that's going to enable Google Play services. Well, now what you did is you actually reinstalled Google Play services on your Android device. And then you got to move on to Google Play Store in the app info and tap on the clear data button to clear the data and you also clear the catch and also force stop the app by tapping on the force stop button. And then you got to tap on the disable button and tap on OK. And once again tap on OK. And that's going to uninstall Google Play, Google Play Store on your Android device. Well, once the uninstall is done, you got to enable it once again. So just tap on the enable button. Well, now let me open Google Play Store and see whether it works. And ta-da! Google Play Store opened up without showing any error. This means the problem is fixed. 
Google Play, Google Play Store is not working without showing any error that says Google services has stopped, unfortunately. Well, if still any other app is not opening, like um, if you could see in my case, Google Chrome is still not opening. Um, so what you gotta do is um, long tap on that app and bring it onto app info now that's going to open that app in the app info window now you got to tap on disable button to disable that app and that's going to uninstall that app now once the uninstall is done you got to enable that app by tapping on the enable button and that's going to enable the app now let's go on and open Google Chrome and see whether the error is solved As you could see here, Google Chrome is up and running. It's running without showing any error. So you can fix this. You can fix this error. Like if any app is still not opening on your device, you can disable it. And once you disable it, you you should just enable it once again so that uh, it it should work without any error. So in other words, you're just reinstalling the app the app which is showing you this error, and that's going to work. The final thing you gotta do is to update Google Play services. You can visit Google Play Store from where you can update Google Play services. Uh, just tap on the update button and that's going to update Google Play services on your Android mobile. So that is how to solve this error. This method worked for me and I hope it works for you too. If you have any doubts regarding this video, feel free to comment below. I'll try to help every one of you and hit the subscribe button for more videos. Like my Facebook page at facebook.com slash techgarage156. Follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash techgarage156. Visit my website at techgarage156.com. Thanks for watching. Cheers.